Coming up on Around Kern County, Public Health is launching a new campaign to help residents feel their best. We're breaking down all of the resources inside their Let's Get Healthy Kern initiative. And calling all Kern County micro businesses impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. We're sharing where you can go to apply for grant funding when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Kern County Public Health is helping residents get healthy this year through focusing on good nutrition, exercise, and building strong immune systems. We're joined today by Public Health Director Bryn Kerrigan to discuss their department's new campaign, Let's Get Healthy Kern. Public Health is here to help. We have three healthy initiatives that we have that we would like our community to use as tools and resources for them to get an overall better health. The first is our Know Your Numbers program. This is a six week program that travels to various locations throughout Kern County. Then we have our Waste Hunger Not Food program. So this program rescues wholesome, healthy foods um, from locations like schools and restaurants that would otherwise be wasted and it distributes those in our community free to our residents. And finally, we have our Certified Healthy program. So if you download our Safe Diner app, we have facilities that have met our nutrition criteria that serve healthier foods. So when you are choosing to eat out with your family, we encourage you to find one of those certified healthy restaurants so that you can make healthier dining out choices. There's no better time than now to take advantage of these programs because we're continuing to try to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. What we're seeing is that more than 50% of our deaths have preventable chronic conditions that we can curb and then better our odds against severe illness and death due to COVID-19. So visit our website, currentpublichealth.com. There is a prominent button on our website that talks about this call to action initiative. Click on that button and you'll find all three of these programs. Relief is on the way for Kern County micro businesses impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Beginning Monday, February 7th, qualified local businesses can apply for grant funding awarded to Kern County by the California Office of the Small Business Advocate. Local businesses with zero to four full-time or equivalent employees that were operational prior to December of 2019 with a physical presence in Kern County that are currently active and operating or have a clear plan to reopen that also made less than $50,000 in revenue during the 2019 taxable year can now apply. These $2,500 grants will be awarded on a first come first serve basis for businesses that qualify. To access the application, please email any of the organizations on your screen. For more information, please visit Employers' Training Resources website at www.etronline.com. Kern County Animal Services is seeking a veterinarian who will have the opportunity to create immense change in our community. The person who fills this role will work side by side with the director of Kern County Animal Services, Nick Cullen, to build an entirely new state-of-the-art shelter dedicated to the welfare of our local animals, including playing a pivotal role in helping this organization reclaim its no-kill shelter status. This has a lot of potential to really revolutionize animal welfare in Kern County. Um, you know, this is a position for somebody, like I said, who not only wants to be a leader for the department and for the team that's on our medical team, but it's also somebody who could potentially be a leader for the veterinarians in our community. You know, somebody who can be the go-between between, between what the, we're seeing in the animal shelter and what the, the private vet clinics are seeing in the community. The potential for somebody who really wants to make a difference in a community that sorely needs it. You know, this is that opportunity. The starting salary of this position is $175,000 annually. However, pay is negotiable depending upon experience. Also included in this position is a $25,000 hiring bonus, assistance with moving and one-time expenses, 
full-time health and dental benefits, and a competitive retirement program with up to a 6% county salary match toward a deferred compensation plan. To apply, please email our head of this recruitment, Jason Wiebe, at wiebej at kerncounty.com. Hart Park is getting ready for spring with a series of renovations for our community to enjoy. Right now, Kern County Parks is working on updating the trailhead with parking improvements, a new restroom, informational kiosk, and native landscaping. Also in the works is new signage consistent with the original sign at the west entry gate, including landscaping and lighting, plus the addition of a monument sign at the east entry. Another renovation underway is the rehabilitation of the historic Adobe House. Residents can expect these improvements to be complete sometime this spring. As a bonus, Kern County Parks is also awaiting final approval from the state to begin designing an adventure play area for our Kern County kiddos to enjoy. And we're ending today with a way residents can get rid of their bulky waste for free. Kern County Public Works is holding two upcoming collection events, one in Lamont and one in Mojave. Lamont's event is scheduled for Saturday, February 5th from 8 a.m. to noon, and Mojave's is scheduled for Saturday, February 19th, also from 8 a.m. to noon. Bulky waste includes, but is not limited to, household appliances like refrigerators and water heaters, mattresses, furniture, electronics, barbecue grills, and other large household items. Tires will also be accepted during these events free of charge. For more information, please visit Kern County Public Works website at kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.